in this video, we're going to take a bimini that's uh, already been constructed and we're going to make a slit for the opening of a backstay. The slit will be closed with a zipper. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to measure up. We want it at least 15 inches in. And this is just like a little flap awning. So we want to measure from this seam on the outside edge up 15 inches. Obviously, so this measurement here. is dependent upon your boat and your bimini. You may have more or less. So we're going to cut a slit here, bind it, and attach a zipper so that there's no problem with it. Trying not to cut either of the top stitches here. That just stabilizes the fabric for you and keeps it there while you're, when you cut it. So we'll go right down through the center of that seam. Again, you may not have a seam here. It depends on where you need this opening or slit to be placed. On this bimini, we'll it needed to be put right through this seam. Also, you have a pocket here. Your poles will be through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this seam apart right here. And open Most that biminis, up. you won't be uh, installing the slit along the seam, so you will probably just have to slit open the uh, sleeve here rather than just cut the stitches. Okay, we're going to be putting some binding on here also. So you're going to need to cut through this little flap here on the side. And we'll finish that off later with the binding. You want to make it come right straight down from where you're going to be putting your zipper. And then you just cut right up to that seam. If you'd like, you can just cut right through the pocket, but the way that I'm looking at it here, we can go ahead and we can just hem these back and they'll be finished off because the pocket has to stay separate. You don't want to sew that into your zipper. Once we get this all taken care of inside of the pocket, we'll come back and we'll anchor these stitchings back down again before we're all finished. Okay, now we have the pocket pulled apart, and we've cut the little flap apart. And we're going to cut right up through the center of here, like I said, without cutting. You don't want to cut through any of these stitches, because that will help hold it together for you. Bring it down. This particular bimini has its backstay exactly at 15 inches. You may want to add about a half inch after the 15 inches just to allow for any kind of difference in your backstay placement. Ignore the white paper. That was a tag that we'll remove. Stop right at your mark for your 15 inch. Now we're going to bind this edge first for the zipper and then we'll put a small piece of binding on the end of the flap. Okay, now we're over at the machine. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hem these back. That way they'll be out of the way for when we're putting in our zipper and everything else. And the little bit of space that's going to be here isn't going to do any problem as far as the way that your um, bimini top will work. We just have to make sure that we have enough room for our binding to come over. You might want to go ahead and just mark that back. Three quarters of an inch should be plenty of room to miss your binding and still give you plenty of room for your pocket. Now we'll create a double hem on the ends of these sleeves. so that when you come up with your binding it'll be out of the way so that you're not catching your pocket because this has got to stay open you can't sew that shut now just sew a straight stitch right along that double hem you want to be sure and back tack whenever you start and stop your seam and then just take your three quarter and sew holding everything out of the way. Which made a nice seam across here. Now we'll just tack the pocket in place. The end and tack them back down. And 
to follow the same line here. And a back back. Look at the end. When we're done with this side, we'll turn our attention to the opposite side and repeat these steps. That way your pocket's still open. You got a finished edge here and nothing to fray. I want to do the same thing to the other side. Deb's repeating these steps with the other side right now. We'll skip this and move ahead. We're now using the one inch swing away binder and installing the prefabricated binding you can purchase at sale right. This is our little flap edge here and we're just going to run a little short piece of binding on that. That way it doesn't obstruct, obstruct in the way of the zipper at all. And then we'll use the hot knife to cut the binding off of it so that it doesn't fray. We'll do this to the opposite side as well. We'll not show that. You'll notice here we're using the clear Tanara. It is very difficult to cut, even with a hot knife. That's the beauty of Tanara thread. It is virtually impervious to the UV rays. Really all you want to do is just make sure that you've got the ends good so that it doesn't fray. You can melt the ends down and that leaves a finished edge. Do that with both of them. Here's the other side which we finished. We didn't show that in the video. Just once you got that binding on there, you still got it away from this piece because we just did the end. That way your binding is going to go right over top. All the way around, come right off the ends. And we'll show you how to do that. where we've cut up, split it apart, we've hemmed both of these so that they stay open with no raw edges, we've put binding on the ends of our little rope edging. Now what you're going to want to do is split it open just like this so that it looks like one straight line. When you get up to here, you split that open and it's going to keep right on going. Okay, what we run into here is where it's all doubled over and we've got a lot of fabric in there. So once you get your binding started, pull your binder back, or if you're not using one, it won't matter, but if you're using a binder, once you have all the thicknesses already and they're folded over, that's just too much to go through. If you were to open it up, then it would be not enough pressure on the rest of it. So all you do is just open up your binding and stick in the wide side, pushing this through the binder. And just fold it over the end. And you can feel if it's in there to the edge. And then you want to just sew up to that point. Once you know you're on there, you can back pack and then just slide your binder back up and you're ready to go. Okay, now we're coming up to the point where we cut to this fabric back and you want to just kind of ease it in there. You're going to stop this before it gets into there. 
push it in, hold it in. over here where we've got a thicker part than the binder will hold. If you're using a binder, then we'll just pull that back out of the way. If you're not, just keep right on going and you're done. Cut this off. And then again, you want to hot knife that and make sure that there's no edges showing. And then we can stitch that back down underneath. And here you have where you opened it up at. No raw edges. You've shoved that up inside. Now he has an opening for the stay. So we'll finish off these ends. And then we're gonna put our zipper in on the binding that we just installed. Okay, now you want to just put that back over top and just tack down the end of it. We did that separately because the zipper is going to end here. And once it's zipped shut, it'll close this closer together by not cutting it off and binding it the same as this edge. Yeah, we'll just do the same procedure on the opposite side. Stay to come through up here above the zipper, and then you'll have your zipper coming down. You can cut your zipper off, and so that your slide doesn't come off, you just simply take a piece of binding, wrap it around the teeth, and then you just sew that down. Once that's cut out, your zipper won't go past. Now we're going to install this zipper I completely opposite of what minute. you see here in the video. It'll actually be reversed around, but it'll still be the same length for cutting. And again, you want to stop before all of the bulk hits down here. So the bulk is here, so that's where we want to stop our zipper. Want to zip your zipper back together and make a mark straight across from that. Before you cut it off, unzip it far enough, then we'll take a hot knife and cut that off. If you don't have a hot knife, you can use scissors as well. The beauty of a hot knife is it seals the edges of this tape. We'll now take some binding and cut it to length to wrap it around that zipper to create stops. This is the opening for the backstay, and this is the side that does not have the starter. And you'll see the binding has been wrapped around the zipper already. zipper was too long. We put our tab around it of the binding. We're also working on the underside of the bimini. So this is the wrong side or the bottom Put side. Mark. Be sure to start this zipper at least a half inch away from the edge or the turn back for the back stay. So we can be sure and hold it steady at the top going to be pulling and pulling with the back stay and we want to make sure that this doesn't come apart. And then run your teeth right along the binding edge. And again you can base this or pin it whatever you want to. Run your stitches right through the center of the zipper. In this application Deb is leaving the teeth a little bit exposed. You can run the zipper so that it's basically buried underneath the binding if you like to protect it from the sun. These teeth are exposed just a slight bit. This is a Riri brand zipper and it has a plastic box on the end to kind of 
provide more strength for the end. Be careful when you're sewing through this as you can break a needle. And back tab, back tack on the plastic tab a few times. Now we'll turn our attention to the opposite side of the zipper. This is the zipper that actually has the starter and we want to position it so that it lines up perfectly with the other zipper. You'll see here at the top there's at least a half inch opening for the back stay. You can include more just to be more protective up to an inch or so if you'd like. The more the opening the more the weather will come through. It's also important to be sure that you have the puller on the slide facing the right direction. We want it facing down. Okay. So we're going to start that at the end. And again, you want to back that back back through the plastic tab the spot, bottom of the zipper. The reason Deb's starting from this end is because she has a roping zipper foot right on the sewing machine. Again, just run your teeth along the edge of the binding. Okay, and before you get to the end, you want to make sure and pass your slider by your foot on the zipper. All right, we're now done. Here's the zipper with the sleeve openings, and here's the position that the backstay will come through. And here's the top side. For all of us here at Sarah, right? Thanks for watching.